Okay, greetings for salutations, stinky fans. <clears throat> um, here at Thornton Reservoir. It's uh, run by Seven Trent Water. Uh, it's one of my sort of favourite places to come out and chill out, especially in the late evening when there's no one around. Um, so, yeah. All the anglers out there, fishing and the duckies. Yeah. And <coughs> I haven't been here for ages actually. Um, but it's very pretty, very peaceful. But you do get the old ice cream vans coming down here and selling their wares, but it's a bit of a pain. But, uh, that's the trouble with all these nice places. They're full of fucking grockles. As you can see, I'm on Tiggy. Uh, Domino's alright, but I feel the feel the need. I feel the need for speed. So I'm uh, just gonna have a a bimble around on Tiggy and uh, enjoy this lovely weather. And, uh, Grab a, a quick bimble while I've got the option. I just went and seen my drug dealer. Got all my uh, pills and stuff. So uh, I'm alright for a couple of more weeks. I've just been to Thornton Reservoir and uh, sat out there, looked at the view for 10 15 minutes. And, uh, I'm going to head off somewhere else now. I haven't decided where, just going to go exploring. I've got a full tank of fuel. So, uh, that's all that matters. But now, I really love this bike. She's got, uh, she can ride it slowly, but you've got the power to get out of problems. I mean, the Domino, she's alright, don't get me wrong. She's alright, but she's not quite as much fun. But she's a lot better for filtering and going to and from work, and obviously you've got all the, the panniers and stuff, so it's great. You don't have to worry about faffing about with a tank bag. Um, so... Yeah. But I'm wearing uh, Pixie's gloves today, look. I've only, as, I said, as you probably know, I've got really small hands. Uh, you know what they say about a man with small hands? Yep, he wears small gloves. Uh, well, I've got really small hands for a guy. Now I can easily wear Pixie gloves. In fact, in many ways, Pixie gloves fit better than I do. Mine do. I know a lot of women actually wear men's biker kit or bike gloves. They can't find their own. You know, they can't find the right stuff to fit them. But uh, for me to actually wear the white gloves, uh, yeah, I must give myself some more white for you. I like these. Now, one thing I would like to talk about is uh, NIMBYs. I'm sure you all know what a NIMBY is. It's a not in my backyard. Well, obviously, the. Uh, influx of alternative energy uh, mainly wind farms and wind turbines and also getting rid of um, rubbish as well so rather than burying it in landfills we've got a lot more incinerators coming out well in my travels I'm noticing you know no against wind turbines, no against incinerators, no against this, no against that. I mean they're even bringing out these um, solar fields. Um, basically it's a field full of um, solar charge to catch the sunlight. Not that we have a lot of sunlight in the UK, but we do have some. And um, basically it's just a field with a, a load of mirrors in. You know, no big deal. Um, 
and everybody's protesting about everything. We all want energy, cheap energy. And we all want, you know, I mean obviously uh, slowly being depleted, rapidly being depleted, should I say. Um, we all need this energy, we all want our homes lit and our heating done and our cooking done and all these other things. But it seems that nobody ever wants it near where they are. You know, I mean, where I live, I live very close to a racetrack, Mallory Park. I'm not in the village of Mallory Park. I'm not that rich. But reading in the local paper the other day, they want to get Mallory shut down because of the noise from the bikes. Well, Mallory's been there 50 odd years, okay? And this main, we'll call it protagonist, has been in the village for, I think it's about, it's about 18 months. And uh, is seriously complaining about the noise, whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, no disrespect. You knew there's a flipping racetrack there. If you didn't want to hear the noise of bikes, why buy a thing in the racetrack? You know? I mean, where well, I used to live down in Dorset, um, it was an area of special scientific interest and outstanding natural beauty. And uh, very nice in the country. Anyway, there was a a lady, well I say a couple, a lady maybe, but they retired from Manchester after making lots of money and uh, thought they'd live in the country. Yeah, okay, they've got the money. And they had the, you know, the, the Range Rover Sport and the Audi and all the rest of it and bought a big house. And uh, anyway, she got on the local parish council and wanted a farmer to move his cows from the field that he owned because the cows were mooing and also because they had to cross a public highway cows would chomp mud or um, defecate that's a good word isn't it? defecate uh, and uh, therefore it made her Range Rover dirty I mean what the fuck you know you move to the country you should expect cow shit but uh, yeah I mean we do need things we do need these okay we do have to suffer um, a little bit but you know we all want our power so where we're going to put the the turbines and the solar or do we just build more nuclear power stations and we can all glow in the dark but anyway let me know your thoughts uh, let me know your thoughts